Hello people of the internet, today I have another tutorial for you guys. I'll be teaching you how to use your Guitar Hero or Rock Band Guitar to use on online games such as Jam Legends or play games that you have on disc such as Frets on Fire or Guitar Hero 3. So the first thing that you want to do is open up Firefox or whatever internet browser that you use and click on the description in the box and then click on the link. So I have a copy and pasted and just go to the link. This is a direct link so you can just click OK and it will save it. Just wait for it to open up. Click OK. It's about 1 meg so it really isn't going to take up that much space at all. You can close out of Firefox. And the setup file should be xpatter 5 3 zip And just click extract here using winrar or winzip. There's, there should only be one program called xpatter.exe and just click it. This program is different from other programs because it can run directly from itself. So you don't have to save it into program files or anything. Just click start. You want to save it in program locations and you want it to associate with Windows. So it's a lot more easier to use with your guitar. So once that's done, you want to take your USB device so, I have a wireless receiver for my PS3 Rock Band guitar. Just plug it into your computer. Wait for your computer to chime. And this thing should turn yellow. Just click on the little Xbox controller and click New. A purple window should pop up something like this. So, now you need to grab your guitar and turn it on from the back. And Press your Xbox button, PS button, or whatever button you have. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the D-pad tab right here and click Enable. It's going to ask you to strum upwards on your guitar. Just strum up, and then you want to strum down. And then on the D-pad, which is the bun stick, press left and right. So now, as you can see, it is strumming and detecting whenever you strum down on the guitar. Now you want it to sense your guitar. So click on the buttons and press down on green, red, yellow, blue, orange. And then if you want to pause in games such as Jam Legends, you can map the start button as well. You can't really get the whammy bar because it isn't really a button. So once that's done, you want to click finish and click close. Now on X Pattern, you should see your guitar is being sensed. Don't be worry when your frets are not mapped properly because that's what we're going to fix right now. So hold down the green button and my one lights up as the second fret. So click on it and map it as the first fret. Now do the red one and map it as the second. Yellow should be third, blue should be four, and orange should be five. In games such as Jam Legends, start button is the space button and the up strum should be up and the down strum should be down. So this so now we just mapped everything on X pattern. So we wanna click on the joystick again and click save as. I'll save it to my desktop. I'll label it rock band guitar. Just click save and just click OK. Now you have to Whenever you play games with your guitar, you have to keep X Pattern open. So I I'm gonna show you that this works on Jam Legends. So I'll open up my inner. And I'll just quickly click on Candy Rock. Um, legendary, sure. Wait for it to load up. I'm not gonna play you the full song, cause that's like a five minute song. But yeah, just make sure your guitar is on, and x Pattern is running, and it should be ready. Click start playing. And as you can see, my buttons are being mapped, and start is pop. So I hope I helped, you can Rate, comment, and subscribe, and leave any comments if you're having any problems. Thanks for watching.